Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host Ali Hammer and today we're joined with Lee Swanson from rent.com.au. Lee, thank you so much for joining me on the show today. Can you start by telling our audience a little bit about rent.com.au? Yeah, sure. Thanks for having me, Ali. Um, rent.com.au is Australia's largest portal dedicated to renters and our mission is really just to make renting uh, easier and more rewarding. We feel like renters are often treated as second-class citizens and maybe taken for granted. Um, but the reality is a lot of uh, people are choosing to rent for lifestyle reasons these days. So obviously you can have more flexibility over um, when, when you want to move around and also you can choose uh, locations you might not be able to get into um, to purchase. Um, but there's definitely a lot of challenges with renting. Uh, so obviously you've got to apply for a property. So we have a property portal and a rent a resume, you can set that up and it makes applying for products easier. And particularly at the moment, there's a lot of competition for rentals. So uh, you can do a rent check, which is something you can attach to your application to prove that you're a great renter. And sometimes renters have uh, trouble getting their bond back before they have to pay bond for their new place. So we've got a finance product rent bond that allows um, allows you to get a short-term loan. And if you pay it back within 21 days, you actually don't pay anything interest or fees. And more recently we've launched uh, rent pay, which is to help renters pay the rent. Wow, what a great website to make renters' lives just so much easier. And Lee, you recently, as you mentioned, launched rent pay in the market. It's a super exciting product. So can you tell us a little bit more about rent pay? We did have a product called rent pay before that we'd purchased. Um, <clears throat> We had that for a while, but the, the problem with that was it solely focused on agent functionality, which is really important, but we wanted to be able to focus more on renters and what they actually would want from a product. So a while back, uh, we decided to rebuild that product in-house. And so, yeah, it helps renters um, have more flexibility over the way they pay their rent at the moment. If you get paid fortnightly or weekly, you can deposit that money into the wallet whenever you like, and then your rent gets paid on the right date. Um, a lot of people are using it to ring fence their funds so um, they don't accidentally spend it at the pub. Um, and the other thing that we're often told um, as renters is that your rent money is dead money. It's usually by companies that are selling loans or, or homes, but um, we really wanna challenge that idea. So um, one of the benefits of using rent pay with this is the score builder feature, which Look, if you don't have um, credit, a good credit score at the moment, or you haven't um, had an opportunity to, then you can actually increment your credit score um, just by paying your rent um, with that feature. And the other added bonus is that you get a, um, a small line of credit that you can use to pay your rent in an emergency. Wow, that's a really clever way to change that mindset that rent money is dead money, because you do hear that term being thrown around quite often. And Lee, rent has been using AWS for a while now. So what has your experience been like? And, you know, we want it honest, please. Um, yeah, look, I'm told that rent's been using AWS for nine years and has been fully migrated to AWS um, about six years ago. Um, and that was long before I joined. So um, my experience coming into rent has been really great because like a lot of people, I've worked in companies that, um, were quite slow to adopt cloud services or just outright rejected them. Um, and so there's some huge benefits that, that I'm enjoying. Look, one of, the, one of the biggest things is that, I don't know, for the last five, maybe 10 years, there's been a lot of talk about DevOps and there seems to be a lot of different ideas on what that is. And I remember one, one version of that was just getting an ops person to sit next to a developer. And um, really the culture here is that there is no distinction between you know, development infrastructure and operations. So, um, and that's really enabled um, through the use of AWS and cloud formation. We've got a lot of discipline around that and it allows us to set up pipelines very easily and, you know, blue green deployments, things like that. And, you know, development um, is really um, supercharged by being able to just do, you know, deploy things, do whatever you want. And the other thing is there's a really low cost in experimentation, which is really valuable if you're, um, you know, entering new territory, like becoming a fintech from a property portal, like, like we've done recently. There's, you know, there's a lot of value in being able to quickly experiment and, and test your ideas. 
Absolutely. It's really interesting for me chatting to you as someone who's kind of worked in another business and come in when AWS was already rolled out. So thanks so much for sharing that. And I guess what I want to know is how has AWS helped with your launch of RentPay2 or is the focus mainly been with rent.com.au? Uh, no, there's been a huge focus on RentPay um, for the last year, really, and it's all built using AWS. Um, I think just, just thinking about it, there's a big well, there's a lot of talk about agility and agile in software-based businesses in particular, but really any business. And it's become a bit of a buzzword, but um, look, at its core, the ability to be able to adapt to changing requirements and new information, new context, you know, discovering problems, being able to adapt to that stuff really quickly um, is critical for businesses. And you can't really do that um, without technical agility. So... Uh, if you have a really rigid architecture that is hard to change, your business can't really change and adapt and it's going to suffer as a result. So AWS, I find, really helps us in that area. You know, it's modular in nature, you know, plugging services together. So it encourages you to design your architecture well. And you can always just find a service that really does what you need. So it's not a functional issue, but we had, um, we, you know, Rent's been working with Ruby for a really long time. Um, and so they started working with Ruby on RentPay and we were trying to hire people and we had trouble because there's not a lot of Ruby experience in Perth. It's not really a popular language here and it served Rent well, but we decided to move away from it. Um, and we were able to set up API Gateway and start routing traffic differently. We moved our authorization up into API Gateway um, and then we were able to just route traffic to Lambdas that we built in times, TypeScript um, without any impact to the customers and just being able to do um, things like that really easily um, is a huge advantage. Yeah, absolutely. I'm really glad that you've been able to become so agile and get those new products to your customers so swiftly. And finally, to round off this interview, what can we expect to see from rent.com.au in the next kind of six to 12-ish months? Yeah, there's going to be a really big focus on RentPay. Uh, we see that as uh, a platform that we can build a lot of great features on. Generally, we're looking at ways that we can increase the flexibility in the way that you pay rent, as well as use your great rental behavior to reward you. Um, and it's, it's really exciting. I'm um, really looking forward to implementing a lot of stuff on the roadmap there. Lee, thank you so much for coming on the show today. It's been really interesting to hear about rent.coms.au and you know your experience with AWS, given that you came into the company a little bit later. So thank you so much. And if anyone has any questions, please pop them in the comment section below and we will get back to you. Thanks so much, Lee. Thanks for having me.